Y'all see the title. Dandadan is overrated garbage. And this time, let's try to be careful, okay? Let's try to be careful when farming these low effort rage bait channels. We don't want to have another tricky senpai where he starts crying because I was a little bit too mean in the reaction. So insult the idea, not the person. Let's get into it. All right, fellas, it's about time we put this slop that is Dandadan where it belongs in the fucking trash. Okay. Guys, Dandadan is already King Mad's content stands above Young Defiant and Triggy because he at least puts some sort of gameplay on screen. Because all these dudes, they just have one. F actually, Triggy actually put some effort in. He had a bunch of ReZero clips here and there. The other dudes, they just literally have one fucking thumbnail screen the entire time. And I'm like, bro, at least put some effort in. Complete garbage. It's absolute slop. It's more mainstream shonen mm. trash for these room temperature IQ, mm. fat, disgusting slobs that mm. haven't left the house in years. They're unemployed, living off welfare, not contributing anything to society, let's be honest. And I'm sure... Ah... Uh on a welfare not co listen i i think that there's something so inherently cringe about shitting on people who are of lower class right making fun of minimum wage workers making fun of people in poverty it's like they didn't ask to be placed like that it's systemic issues and they're of course their lack of inaction that's causing like that but i know nothing nothing wrong with that shit but again let's talk about the anime not about the people that watch this because the easiest way to dismantle and demonize a category of people is strip away for humanity. They're disgusting, bad losers of society. Therefore, if you watch Dan Dan, you are trash and the show is trash. That's, you know, the connection that's been made. I'm sure some of you already know this, but modern anime fans are complete fucking idiots. And it's anime like Dan Dan, Dan that constantly remind me of that fact. And mm. Dan 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 is just another name in the long list of disappointment that is the era of modern anime. Okay. And before we get started, guys, let me just say, if you like this anime, uh, I love just get it. off this video and get off no. my channel because you have shit taste. I do not want anything. No, 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 no. You can't afford that. Your viewership, you know, actually this video didn't even do that well. I thought it would pop up, you know, due to rage baiting. You, these channels thrive off of those people watching. Come on, bro. to do with you? I am better than you because of your taste in this anime. Mm. So get the hell off my channel and go ahead and cry and whine and bitch in the comments before you mm. leave though. Because we all- I swear to God, if this guy fucking cries and complains like Lil Triggy did after I reacted to this video. Listen, if you're going to do rage bait channels, I hope you have a fucking thick skin at least. I already know you're going to do that. So with that being said, guys, there's so many reasons why this mm. anime is So many trash. reasons. It's just dog shite. Absolutely terrible. So, yeah. let's start off. I swear to God, if he has no actual talking points about the anime and just said it's bad because it's bad, after saying there's so many reasons, you better have some fucking talking points. With the characters, you've got these two garbage characters, ISA and Takakura, and with these two losers, you've got this shitty trope with the popular girl and the nerdy guy who become friends, of course, and by the way, it's set in a high school setting. Yeah, that trope does exist though, right? Popular girl and beta cuck loser so that you can self-insert yourself as the loser kid that gets saved by the popular girl. That trope exists in so many rom-coms and I swear that shit is way more of a power fantasy than Isekai. I say popularity, it's when we say popular, I guess it's less about like uh, recognized by like their students in class, but rather more like outgoing and not being like a quote-unquote loser. Momo only has like seemingly two friends. Maybe three now if you count, you know, Okarun. And maybe four if we count Ida. But yeah, she's not really popular. Gals actually, like these stereotypical gals, they are rejects of society quite a lot of the times. They are shunned. They're stereotypes that makes people think that, oh, you have your hair dyed this way. You wear these things. You have makeup like that. That must mean that you must be a weirdo and you, you are an outlaw or something like that. So maybe the popularity doesn't really make sense in this context. Of course. And it's just stupid. Let's be real. Like that whole relationship, it's unlikely to happen. But even letting that slide, guys, these... That relationship not likely to happen, I think, is a self-report on this guy. Because, like, I've seen plenty of examples like that happen. Even myself. I, I, I feel like 
the thought that there is no way some uh, independent thinking girl, like a gal, would then look at another outcast. And they, they kind of are both outcasts in a way, right? Because of the way that the girls are shunned, right? And they kind of like look at each other and she helped out because he was getting bullied. But beyond that, it, she didn't really want to do anything with him. But then there's this whole competition over aliens and supernaturals. And as they both venture on into their own bets and they have this crazy moment of fighting against aliens and shit, a deeper bond forms. I don't think that this is impossible or unrealistic if you ignore the obviously supernatural fucking shit it's like a very realistic depiction of high school romance in my opinion these morons decide to bond over aliens and ghosts like yeah. seriously the popular girl yes people would make fun of you for playing this you know is this persona i don't even know what fucking game he's playing right now people would make fun of you for playing this game and call you a fucking loser for that you should get a real job and a man shouldn't be playing games like this Notice how we can always make fun of each other for other people's interest. There is nothing wrong with being interested in aliens and supernatural. And if two people have found something that they can bond over that most people wouldn't accept, I think that would just create a bigger bond. Girl's going to sit here and bond with a guy because he likes aliens and he gets picked on because of that. It's just ridiculous. But that's not the thing, right? She didn't pick him because he likes aliens. He gets picked on the initial you know, thing is she feels bad for him because he's getting picked on. Then she figures out that he has a hobby and it turns out that she has a huge backstory of supernatural shit. And she thinks that aliens doesn't exist and Ken thinks that supernatural doesn't exist. And suddenly this rivalry, this competition, this ego, this butt, you know, headbutting. Already you can see banter, this, you know, chemistry between them. Again, this whole relationship, I think, makes so much sense. So ISA decides to go to a location to find aliens because she doesn't believe in aliens. And Takakura decides to go to a place to find yeah. ghosts because he doesn't believe in ghosts. Which, that would never fucking happen. Let's be real. And by the way, guys. Yeah, of course it would never fucking happen. They're not real. But this is a fictional story. What are you talking about? Who the fuck believes in ghosts but not aliens? But that's neither here nor there. So basically, because of these events, the whole story devolves into ISA and Takakura getting these stupid ass power-ups these psychic powers and these demon powers or whatever the fuck, these ghost powers. So okay. ISA gets these psychic hands all of a sudden because I guess it runs in the family. It's really not well explained. It's honestly a bit of an ass pull, but I know you don't want to hear that, but it is what you need. Show, don't tell. The psychic powers, we were already talking about, you know, the whatever chakra point Granny was doing to Momo and Momo was kind of insecure by that and said, I don't want to do it anymore. And whenever the aliens, you know, started to do that shit to Momo in the ship, it kind of like unlock that potential and now she has psychic powers i think it makes a lot of sense and it's not an ass pull need to hear and takakura gets his cock and balls stolen by the ghost granny that he mm -hmm. meets in this tunnel and he ends up getting powers from her it's just so fucking dumb and i'm not exaggerating like that's literally what happens God yeah the absurdity of that i think is really fun i've never seen a dude get powers by being chased down by a fucking folklore legend, a turbo baba that takes his balls and dick and takes and goes within him. And then eventually he gets cool powers off of that. I think there's something so cool about the design of turbo baba, how she looks and what that looks within Okarun. Like, I thought it was sick. Guys, the plot is basically just a quest to find Takakura's dick and balls. Like, that's mm. legit it so far. Like, what kind of loser thinks that this shit is funny or that it's an actual compelling plot like well to the average retard watching this they could reduce this down to they're just looking for balls and shaft but you would realize that while that is one aspect of the story there's way more to it than that what about all the different romance and chemistry between momo and okarun as they hang out what about granny what about turbo baba you know being turned into a neko baba and all having you know hanging out like that what about you know, the new character Ida showing up and suddenly he's adding this extra layer into this, you know, romantic triangle. Her backstory was so compelling, like episode 7 was fucking insane. And I bet you this guy made this video nine days ago because, well, episode 7 dropped. You know, I gotta say something bad about Dan Da Dan because it's popping off. If you really think that the show is just about a dude looking for his balls and dick, that's not it. That's one aspect of it. It's a driving factor, but... Again, you can reduce any story down to something stupid and quirky and call it stupid. 
Like, ha ha ha. So fucking funny. The ghost grandma wants to take his cock and talks about gobbling his dong and he can suckle her teeth. Like, what kind of freak thinks this shit is funny or it actually makes for a good story? Like, the latest episode. Again, you're taking shock value content and thinking that that is the entire plot and that people are supposed to laugh at that. Some people may. I thought that it was ridiculous, but again, the absurdity of that does not represent Don the Dun. That is one aspect of it, and nor is it supposed to, like, if you, if you found that funny or not, like, also, who's hurting you? Like, why would you get upset that people found that thing funny? Because he's a supreme intellect. Because he is not a sweaty fat loser that watches anime like this, yet they just keep watching anime like this. And they can't stop but talk about anime like this because the only way to get views for them is to cry about animes like this. Who does that? This episode is them trying to find Takakura's balls. Like, this is the most retarded plot in fan service I've ever seen. Like, legitimately, only immature fucking losers would find this funny. And immature fucking losers would find this funny. Which is so funny considering what happens in like episode 7. Or even like the conclusion of Turbo Baba's arc as we defeat her and we realize that the whole process of the granny wanting the weenie, right? In the beginning, yeah, it's absurd ridiculousness. But then you realize that Turbo Baba, she was actually doing that shit because of people, girls that were sexually assaulted, that were done terrible things to them by shitty men. And that's the whole line of thinking for why Turbo Bubba goes for Banana. At an outward glance, it's absurd. It's stupid. It's bottom of the barrel, lowest hanging fruit humor. And if you laugh at that, there's no harm done. But that's not the story. You would realize that there's this such an insane level of complexity of the show as you realize like these absurd themes, there's actually a good reason for it. And once you start to read more into it, then you realize that, oh my god, I was laughing at trauma. I was laughing at someone, you know, trying to do their best. The characters in this show, they have no depth. They have no backstories. There's nothing interesting about them at all. Uh, the only person you get a backstory on is this irrelevant fucking... Brother, we're like one season. You're, what, do you want the entire fucking history of a character shown in a fucking like... We're not, we're barely crossed the halfway point of season one. What do you mean? Demon, who I guess is related to that new character uh, that just got introduced. The girl with the pink hair. Ira. Um, but like, what was that shit, by the way? Let's give a demon, let's give a demon like 10 minutes of fucking backstory before they... Come on, man. The reason you posted this video again nine days ago is because that episode popped off. You yourself realized that, holy shit, this is peak and everyone's talking about it. I need to make a low effort rage bait video in order to trigger those people because that's the only way that I can get attention online. Come on. You're really going to tell me no dev? Well, some people genuinely are retarded. And you remember that video, that the comment that we farmed where that person was like, they actually didn't understand the flashback. Like they were complaining that it didn't make sense to them because the concept of show don't tell doesn't apply to them because their brains are actually fucking dead. If you saw episode seven, you're going to tell me there was no depth, There was no complexity. There's no plot. There's no backstory. That's got to be the most disingenuous take you can have on this show. They die like this is on some Demon Slayer type shit. Like what a retarded uh, way to move the plot here. Because <laughs> you know, God forbid that we give the main characters any depth. Let's waste it on this fucking demon that's about to leave the fucking show. Like <sighs> All you can obsess about is the backstory of Akira Silky, But you fail to realize how this impacts Ira and Momo at a greater depth. Did you not realize that the reason Ira acts like that is actually explained in the backstory of her always being not really neglected, but the dad's pulling up a full, you know, a, a, full, a very cold front to make sure he's not collapsing in front of his child because the mom passed away and he's acting cool about it. And, you know, that kind of does something to a kid. Momo also saw all of that. You see the interaction between Momo and Ira before, and now suddenly, they're going to be a lot more empathetic towards each other because they share something so important through Akurosuke's backstory. If you can't recognize this point, then like you're actually retarded, right? Come on, like this guy has to be better than that. He claims to be supreme intellect. He must understand that, right? God, it's just so fucking stupid. Like what was the point of that? Such a waste of time. Of course, it would make too much sense to actually develop your characters. Let's, you know, give it. Again, like when you say stuff, what was the point of that? You're self-reporting your intellect. 
You're telling me that you're actually too stupid to comprehend what was shown, and now you're upset, and you think it was a waste of time, right? And, and, and this is the saddest thing and the funniest thing with these Rage Bait channels. There's two outcomes here. One is, he's actually so retarded, he didn't understand, which is very embarrassing because you're self-reporting your IQ. The second part is, which I hope is true, because again, it's a Rage Bait channel, is that you are grifting. You know there was depth. You know how impactful it was. And by reducing this moment to say it was pointless, you can garner the negative engagement from you know, the audience that enjoyed Dan Dan and will then engage with this video. But it didn't really even do that because considering the amount of engagement on this video. To this demon. It's just dumb. And yet I'm seeing all these loser ass, lazy ass reaction channels sitting here and mm. crying over the backstory. That's me, baby. Acting like that scene got them all emotional and shit and they were going to cry, man. And yeah. It's just like, bro, these grown men acting like children. Grown, grown man cries over children's cartoon is how I titled my video. Grown men acting like babies. It's sad. Who? Yeah. God forbid grown men cry. Again, like, these type of people who make videos like this, they have usually no role model growing up. They have, it's actually fatherless behavior. They think that, like, hyper-masculinity is when men do not show any emotion, and you're supposed to be this fucking brick wall that gets all the bitches. Yup. High-value men. Real men play persona. True, brother. Just like, what are you saying right now? That... Crying over something so cathartic and emotional is somehow being a pussy. I would argue that being able to cry and express your emotions and being able to, you know, talk about your feelings like that shows true intellect. You can empathize. If you can understand the point of the story that you're trying to tell you, you can empathize with that and cry. That is emotional intellect. Your prefrontal cortex has developed to the point where you can see from other people's perspectives and understand, you know, at a greater scale. But when you're telling me that this is cringe and that grown men don't act like this, this is the most unga boonga caveman mindset. And it's so sad because if you claim to be supreme intellect, you would understand the empathy is one of the most important things when it comes to like a, a reasonably like smart person. The fact that you can understand and process your emotions and feelings like that. Who in their right mind thinks this is healthy? Who, th who thinks this is normal behavior? God, the mental illness in this industry is just fucking insane. It's running. That's so funny that he says that. Who thinks this is healthy? Who thinks this is sane? It's just like, am I, am I, am I the crazy one? Rampant. And this is the problem with the modern anime fan, man. These yeah. people's mental maturity just does not match their physical age. And yeah, I understand this is a shonen and the target dim- Mental maturity does not match their physical age. That point is actually really funny. Because, again, if you're going back to the whole crying thing, like, some, this guy's logic is, you cry, you're a pussy retard. And that if you're a mature person, you never cry or express any emotions. That's the kind of line of thinking that this guy has. I just want you to realize that. Demographic is, you know, these teenage boys. But, guys, I'm seeing fully grown adults gagging on this anime's cock. It's fucking pathetic. These people are just disgusting, immature man-children. You people need to grow the fuck up. Like, seriously. A person who is desperately wanting attention by creating low effort rage bait that cannot understand empathy is an indicator of greater intellect is then going on saying that all these people are stupid. The irony of the things that he's saying is just beautiful, is it not? It's art. Seriously, it's time to grow up, people. And yeah, so people, it's funny. That's right. Growing up is when you make low effort rage bait because again... You have no content, you have no charisma, you have no personality. The only thing you can do is cry and get triggered over other people enjoying something great. Because again, you have no value. And in fact, if we're going to align with this whole hyper-masculine Andrew Tate behavior, I would argue that this is loser behavior. He is a low-value person. This video barely got 2,000 views, not even. This is the best you can do? This is the best you can do, bro? Come on, this is low value, man. No bitch would ever want this shit. 
weeks on this channel, these people always wonder why I have a problem with people sucking off garbage. It's because you morons have ruined this industry for people that actually care about quality. It's What's no quality? wonder that in today's society, people's ethics and morality is so low. When ethics and morality is so low. You gonna go the high road, bro? You really gonna sit here making low effort rage bait content, talk about morality? You gonna talk about you know, emotional maturity and complain that people crying and expressing their feelings is retard behavior. Come on, everything you're saying is a contradiction. Your entire existence is a contradiction. A slop like this is promoted. Also, by the way, so far, uh, the reason he thinks Dandan Dan is trash is because people cried over episode eight, seven and balls. <laughs> balls? And uh, people cried and encouraged by the other sheep also they can just get a feeling of fitting in it's fucking sad but anyways guys back to the anime here yeah just, back to the, the anime. characters are so terrible the plot is terrible uh also the art and animation is terrible it looks like <laughs> this anime was drawn in the greatest production value of fall 2024 right now is terrible <sighs> by all metrics the team, the directors, the talent working on Dandaran right now, Science Sour, especially for episode 7, like, come on. That was industry best of the best gathering together to pump out art. Come on, you don't even have receipts, bro. Fucking MS Paint, but people are out here acting like it's the best thing ever. It's not. You morons say this every time there's an anime with flashy fights and pretty colors. How about you people grow some balls and actually develop your own thoughts for once rather than relying on your favorite garbage anime channel to implant your opinion on this series? But you don't have any opinions either. You don't have the balls to come up with your own individual line of thinking. You only think things are bad for negative engagement and rage bait. What are you talking about? You people are just fucking deplorable. And the animation is no better either, guys. It looks like the animators decided to do their job blindfolded when making this series for some reason. I really don't know. Okay, of all the things you could have said about Dan Dan Dan, attacking the production value is actually so stupid. Come on. There's so many other ways of angles that are coming off of this, right? There's so many better ways to do this shit, but like, you really gonna hit the production value? Come on, bro. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. The production value behind this is just incredibly terrible. But let's talk about the intro here for a minute. The intro is okay. terrible. I see a lot. It's just funny to me that he constantly talks about the anime industry. That he knows what's best for the industry. And he has no clue about the talent in the industry that worked on that specific episode. That's crazy. A lot of these losers sucking off the intro. Dan 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 Dan, dan, dan. Like, they think that shit's cool or something. It's like, no, you guys are a bunch of fucking freaks. You're a bunch of losers. Guys, if you think that's a good intro, you need to get your fucking head checked. That's it? Dan, dan, dan. It's bad because it's bad. And you're a loser if you thought that intro was good. That's it? Why? No wonder you think the series is good because you have an incredibly low standard for quality. You guys have been... Can you tell me what good quality is? I'm still waiting for an example to be made. I want to see an example made on what he thinks is quality. Brainwashed, and it's time for you people to wake up. Wake up and smell that fucking coffee, because this is just getting sad. Like, my God, this is a terrible year for anime. It's, it's one of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, but anyways, guys, the whole series just sucks. And my God, the plot armor in this anime is the absolutely plot armor. abysmal. You have these teenagers fighting the fighting these demons, fighting these ghosts, leaping off buildings, falling miles in the sky, getting pummeled by monsters. It's so unrealistic. It's so unrealistic. Did you watch episode one? You telling me that a girl who almost got raped by aliens who then somehow unlocked her inner, like, fucking chi chakra powers, and now is Mob Psycho who imbues herself with armament hockey-like durability, taking hits from the sumo. Like, like, first of all, unrealistic? Have you seen the show we're watching right now? Realism is the last thing you should be fucking expecting. These are not regular high school kids. They're supernatural freaks. So ridiculous. Yo, it's not supposed to be realistic. Shut the fuck up, pussy. But, for example, no, 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 no. You shut the fuck up, pussy. What do you mean unrealistic? Motherfucker, it's a show based on kids getting alien and fucking superpowers. What do you want? That's the most realistic thing you could be doing, right? Do you expect that these supernatural kids suddenly have the durability of yourself? Come on. 
example, guys, you have Ayase. She gets yeah. the piss beat out of her by that alien on her grandma's. Uh yes, and do you know why she tanked it? Because she literally has psychic, like, armor. Armament hockey. This barrier that lets her fucking take hits. But again, <sighs> some people that has only one brain cell cannot understand nor try to think about why this may be it. Uh, at, at her grandma's house. She's getting pummeled into a wall by this massive alien, but she survives that? Like, how the fuck would she survive that? Like, seriously. I don't know. Maybe she got, like, mob psycho powers, bro. You tell me. How would she survive that? Oh, that's right. This anime doesn't have to make sense because anime doesn't have to have... Motherfucker, it's the psychic power of the all. You're so stupid. ...consistency or logic anymore. All it needs is fights and pretty colors. And by the way, guys, the fights in this anime are just shit. I'm sorry, but mm. some loser nerd powering up and just wrecking demons and ghosts isn't cool. Unless... You that's literally every show. Some dude powering up and wrecking monsters. You could reduce any type of fights to that. What do you mean? You have an incredibly low IQ, which you most likely do, as we've already established. Like Whenever people bring up IQ, it's the funniest shit to me. I think that it's so cringe to use IQ as a standard, a benchmark of intellectual line of thinking. I think that, again, rather than using IQ, it's all about empathy. Being able to reason, critically think using your logic, right? The fact that he cannot realize that Momo is using her Esper powers to layer like the supernatural fucking barrier over her is wild to me. That I think is a pretty good indicator of like where his IQ is. And again, another thing is the whole empathy. Being able to think from other people's perspectives, being able to reason how they may feel, which this guy doesn't have any at all, considering what he said about the backstory. Hey, let's be real, that's no secret, but just nothing in this anime is cool, guys. The characters aren't cool, the monsters aren't cool, the fights aren't cool, there's just like, there's really nothing. What is cool then? I just wish that they would bring up an example of what they think is quality, right? I want to know, like, what do you think is actually good? What's doing better? Make the direct comparison with what you're calling trash and what you think is cool. But you know that can't be possible, right? Because if that happens... It would not be a rage bait anymore. Thank you, legit nomad two one seven forty five. Gift it subs, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Nothing good about this anime, and of course the fan service in this anime sucks. It's just for these horny losers, these fucking pathetic rejects. Like, for example, you've got the first episode where I say mm. is about to get raped by the aliens. I do agree about that part. That was kind of unnerving. It, it was weird, right? I understand that sex sells, but that scene was pretty uncomfortable. It's like, I guess these people think that's actually supposed to be like a compelling plot point and it's not just there for fan service. No, you people are fucking retarded, horny, down, bad losers. And for some reason, all the ghosts and the demons and... Now, there is some plot relevant uh, reason. And I'm not saying the plot relevancy suddenly justifies it, but it seems like these powers and the research that they're doing, right? It's all around reproductive organs. So like that makes sense, but still it's just like, ugh, it's just that kind of fan service I'm not too into. Aliens in this anime, they're all obsessed with cock and balls and dick and shit. It's just so fucking stupid. You people are fucking retarded. But of course these knuckle dragging apes, they don't care about this. They only care what everybody else is saying. It's fucking sad. These people are sheep. They only care about these people are sheep is funny, especially because of the nature of this contrarian, you know, rage bait channel. Thank you, Pomi, for the gift to tier one, man. Because by nature, these channels are sheep. You can only be contrarian. You can only hate what's trending. That is the most funniest part when these type of channels says, open your eyes, think. Have your own opinions. You don't have opinions. You only say this is bad because it's bad. And it's trending right now, so I'm going to make a video on it. That's it. You don't have any principal stance. About their favorite garbage channel, these shills that suck off every anime because they want money. It, it's just like, bro, what is wrong with you people? Can you people wake up? Can you open your fucking eyes instead of being a goddamn sheep? Damn. What did I just say? Open your eyes and, <laughs> and don't be a sheep. Right? It's just like, have you looked at yourself, brother? You are the whole fucking ranch.
You are the sheep. Dan is just awful. Yeah, let's have a plot about dick and balls, guys. Super funny, super compelling, super interesting. It's just super funny, right? No, you people are fucking idiots. So yeah, guys, this anime sucks. And honestly, I'm just done with you fat slobs. You people are disgusting Kool-Aid drinkers. You have no independent thought. You have Remember, when you have nothing to actually attack the show about, you reduce the person, call them fat, ugly, losers, and that's why this show is bad. Just the laziest effort. Come on, man. I want better rage bait. No intelligence. You have no critical thinking skills. Like, what the hell is the point of having an opinion when you don't even develop your own opinion? You just... What's the point of having an opinion when you don't have your own opinion? It's so funny again. Like, everything he says directly contradicts himself. That's the funniest part about this video. Everything he said applies to him, and he doesn't realize. No, no, no. I hope that he realizes, right? I think that um, being aware of your grift at least proves that you're somewhat smart. You don't believe these things. You're just saying it to, you know, get a reaction out of people, but... If you genuinely are stupid and you think that you are the most smart person with their own thoughts, that's humiliating. Come on. Form it based on people around you. You watch these garbage reaction channels, you watch these garbage anime channels, and you go, oh, he likes it, so I like it too. Like, did you people actually watch the anime? That's what I like to ask you. I would, uh, did you watch the anime? Because someone coming up with this opinion after watching the anime objectively, no reasonable person would ever come to this conclusion. Or did you just watch your favorite reaction channel say it's good? Did you people actually watch the series? Or did you just watch your favorite chill channel say it's amazing and then you decided to parrot that? And what about you? What about your line of thought? This is the funniest thing, right? Because he always says like everyone else is just, you know, glazing. Everyone else has no opinions they just say it's good and everyone else that watches it then it thinks it's good thank you Sinchi, for the two months i appreciate it but it's like what about you are you not doing the exact same thing just because you're contrarian doesn't suddenly mean that you have the objective truth i think that the average monkey the average audience is actually smart enough to kind of come with their own conclusions I always try to say the way it is. If something's fucking mid, I just call that shit mid and laugh at it the entire time. But we can still have fun. And most people find that genuine authenticity, appreci you know, they respect that. And they want to support someone being very authentic. And that's the reason I keep continuing to grow, despite what I say about different anime. I don't just glaze. I call it just shit garbage sometimes. Yet I'm able to grow. Because people know that at the very least, even if they don't agree with my opinion, that what I'm saying is from the heart and there's a line of thinking that you can respect. But channels like this, rage bait channels, where they are literal sheep, they have no critical thinking, they have no empathy, they have no line of thinking, they can only hate something because it's trending. I guarantee you if episode 7 wasn't so impactful, this video would have come out at the end of Dandadan Dan Season 1, right? Come on, bro. You and I both know what we're doing, right? So at the very least, make the rage baits entertaining, not lazy slop like this. God, you people make me sick, man. Like, what am I supposed to do with you people? I just don't know. Why are you so mad? That, that, that's the thing, too. <laughs> Why are you so mad? Dude, it's just anime. <laughs> it, it's, it's just anime, bro. Like, no one's getting hurt over this. But it's like, Don Don Watchers, like, killed his family. <laughs> the modern audience, anime audience, just, like, just destroyed his well-being. Like, what happened? I need his backstory. No anymore. I have tried to help you people over and over again, and you just slap me in my face. So fuck y'all. If you that is the most loser thing you can say about here, right? Say what you will about the low effort rage base so far, but this part again, I want you to hear it again. This part, okay? I want you to hear this part. People over and over again, and you just slap me in my face. So fuck y'all. He says, I've tried to help y'all. He's basically saying, why do you not like me? Why don't you respect my content? And that is the ultimate form of a loser, a victim. Someone that blames everyone else but themselves for their shortcomings. You are literally saying, wah, wah, why my videos no get views? Why my video get no likes? 
because your content sucks, brother. It's not really because you're a rage bait channel. Rage bait channels can do well. It's just that it's not engaging fun rage bait. It's lazy rage baits. And the content is mid. It's just that simple, right? So again, it's just like to think that you are so entitled to success because you think that you make good content and then it turns out the market don't care. And then you're going to cry about that and blame the audience. You are such a loser, man. That's, that, that's actually such a loser mindset. Just make better content. Just fucking win. Deliver results. Shut the fuck up. Put your head down and grind. And make a rage bit video that is actually entertaining and people will like. Right? Don't cry and complain about how nobody accepts you. That's such a loser behavior, bro. Just win. No one gives a fuck about your struggles. Just win. If you like this anime, fuck you. And I already know you're going to sit here and try and do mental gymnastics and defend this anime and sit here, say this and that, and write me a book in the comments about how I'm wrong and tell me I'm an idiot. But just know, guys, I mm. don't care. And I don't want to hear it because quite... I think you do care or else you wouldn't have made this video. Quite frankly, you people aren't even worth my fucking recognition. You people are sheep. You're... You people aren't worth my recognition. Comes from a guy with how many subs 1.35k subs a video that got almost 2,000 views what's your monthly viewership on youtube i'm interested if he's gonna pull a rank and talk you know talk use clout your success is oh my goodness it's even worse than triggy bro he's actually doing worse than triggered senpai and honestly, I think Triggy actually puts in more effort. Triggy actually does put in effort. He does. More than this guy. 11k, bro. Do you really want to pull up rank right now? You, you, okay, I'll use my second channel because I feel bad. You really want to compare this viewership? Like, come on. You think you're so important? Like, I never make fun of people's viewership. Or, like, reduce them. Because, like, they're small creators. I think that's so cringe. But when you are suddenly going to act as if you're so important that you are this, like, important celebrity and that the comment section is, like, undeserving of your attention, I'm going to fucking make fun of your numbers, bro. You better have the numbers to back up what you're fucking saying. They're low IQ ants. You people just follow the fucking pack. Like, why would I take you seriously? Why would I take a sheep seriously? Why would I take... Nobody's taking you seriously, and I think you're mad someone who can't even form their own opinions seriously how about you go get some taste and then maybe we can talk but what's the taste that's what i want to know i want to know what he thinks is quality work that's the thing that i'm really curious about i just want him to tell me what is quality and what's good and compared to don don but he won't bring up any examples how about when you actually start watching anime and not just following all the other sheep and parroting a reaction channel or one of these chill channels then you can come talk to me about what's good and what's not the shill channel. But like you are exactly that. You are the exact same as the shill channels. You just happen to have a negative opinion every time. That's it. Like you are no different. You have no conviction. You have no principles or stance. You just hate because it's popular to hate. Don't tell me that you're not a sheep. How about you get off welfare, lose some weight, get a job and take that damn GED off your fucking wall and get an actual education and at the very least start watching good anime. What's like what? What's good anime to you? And then maybe I can start to take you seriously. But let's be- As if we need to have the recognition of a channel of this size getting 11k views per month? Come on, bro. Be real, you're not gonna do any of those things. So how about you go get your shit together? How about you go get your fucking life together and- Man who cries having a mental breakdown that his content gets no views and that people are sheep and that, like, like know how mad he is at Dandaran Enjoyers? That's the person telling you to get your shit together, okay? The person who gets so triggered over people enjoying something, that's the person telling you to get your life together. I, I want you to realize that. And then maybe you can come and talk to me about what's good and what's not. Now get the hell off my channel. All right, well, King Mad, I'm a little disappointed at this rage bait video. I, I know your channel's all rage baits. We've watched, you know, a video from before. I'm just, again, waiting for something that will actually be good rage bait. I want someone that understands the theme of the stories and to grift on a higher caliber. 
because this video just tells me that you didn't understand the themes of Down to Dawn, right? There's so many different angles that you could approach the show in a more half sincere way. Again, having these partial truths that is so uncontestable that you can kind of stretch the exaggeration and say Down to Dawn is mid, but another Rage Bait video. But the effort is not there. I'm still on the hunt, man. I am hunting for that one rage bait video where they've exceeded my expectations and I can sarcastically glaze and say that popular show is trash with them and laugh together. But unfortunately, this is not one of those videos. Please go check out Mr. King Mad's videos. Here's a link to the channel and I will see you guys next time.